Good day, guys, and we are back. We are back fully, and today we'll be talking about uh, nystagmus, right? We'll be talking about uh, a disease condition called nystagmus. I think we'll get to go through uh, the definition of nystagmus, the background, and the fixation. Nystagmus is, uh, is the inability to maintain a, a specific eye position, okay? So, what's the definition of nystagmus? Uh, and it's, uh, this is a uh, fixation instabilities that are voluntary or or rhythmic. Okay, and nystagmus is inability to maintain fixation due to slow drift away from uh, fixation, followed by rapid and corrective eye movement. Okay, and um, saccadic intrusion and saccadic oscillation results from um, spontaneous rapid eye movement without slow face. Uh, what is the background of, of this disease? A foveal contraction of an object of, of regard is necessary to obtain the highest level of visual accuracy. That's accuracy. And three main uh, control mechanisms of nystagmus are uh, uh, of maintaining steady gaze include fixation and vestibular ocular reflex and also the neural integrator let's talk about fixation now this involves the visual system's ability to detect drift of a foveating image and signal an appropriate corrective eye movement to refoveate the image of regard right this has to do with fixation your ability to focus uh, your eye on an image, okay? This is a vestibular ocular reflex that we are talking about. I hope you've seen it. And also uh, the neural integrator. This is a gaze holding network, complex integration between cortical centers Cerebellum ascending vestibular pathways and ocular motor nuclei. So, <clears throat> when the eye is turned in an extreme position in the orbit, and the fascia and the ligaments that suspend the eye exert an elastic force to return towards the primary position. When you turn your eye to the to the to the left or right, you know that uh, the muscles that hold the eye in its place will exert. Uh, force that will return the eye to the normal position when needed. To overcome this force, a tonic contraction of the extraocular muscle is required. Okay, for the eye not to come back to its normal position when not required, and this muscle must be strong. So, failure of the control system, disruption of a steady fixation results in this nystagmus we are talking about and the saccadic intrusion and the saccadic oscillations that we are talking about so first of all let's go on um, the nystagmus so nystagmus is a repetitive uh, involuntary to and fro movement of the eyes maybe horizontally or vertically um, with two faces uh, the involuntary for uh, defoveating drift of the eye from the targeting of the interest is followed by in corrective fixation circuit back to the target. Uh, so terminology that we'll be using in this handout includes sac circuit, pursuit, jerk, pendula, a null zone, amplitude, frequency, intensity, conjugate, and so on. So what is a circuit stroke pursuit that we are talking about? Circuits are sudden simultaneous movements of both eyes in the same direction to place the object of interest on the fovea. Okay, when your eyes are moving in the same direction, this is the circuit that we are talking about. What about pursuit? In pursuit, eye movement allows the eyes to closely follow a moving object located by in the saccadic system. So pursuit differs from the vestibular ocular reflex, which only occurs during movement of the head and serves to stabilize gaze on a stationary object. 
It's for that talking about jerk, Nick Stagmus, Pendula, Nick Stagmus. Yo, uh. So jerk, Nick Stagmus is like jumping, 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 okay? Where the pendula is like moving, like a pendulum. Okay, I hope you're following up. What about amplitude? Amplitude is the excursion of the nystagmus. Okay, you see various uh various f values for amplitude, and I hope we are learning. I hope we are learning. What about frequency? Frequency is the number of to and fro movements. You see various uh. Uh, values for frequency and you could always pause this handout to read for yourself anytime you need to comprehend more what about intensity intensity is uh, amplitude by frequency right a uh, conjugate uh, dissociative dissociate uh, dissociated right a conjugate is a nystagmus which is symmetric in direction amplitude and rate between the eyes All right physiological end points of nystagmus vestibular caloric or rational nystagmus so end points nystagmus is mostly results from jack nystagmus okay on looking extra extreme and lateral or upwards is common in older patients and so on Vestibular nystagmus is due to altered inputs from vestibular uh, nuclei and so on. Vestibular nystagmus is rotatory uh, vestibular nystagmus, stimulation of the vestibular, vestibular labyrinth or nerve secondary to rotation and so on. You're just talking about the different types of nystagmus, all right? Congenital nystagmus, 80% of all nystagmus, usually not noted at birth, apparent during first few months of life. Okay. Characteristics of congenital nystagmus, horizontal nystagmus, mixed that's mixed in pendula and jerk okay with or without normal visual acuity heard turn to achieve no point accentuation with distance fixation and decrease by convergence abolition sleep no oxy lopsia and striped mills present in 15 percent of the patient associated with congenital nystagmus. What's the treatment of nystagmus that we have to talk about? Uh, base out prisms to induce convergence, dampens the nystagmus and improve a visual acuity, a uh, use of prisms to shift uh, the viewing point to null position. Okay, that's use of uh, prism, right? Uh, so now, what are the surgical uh, corrections of nystagmus that we are talking about? This includes uh, moving the extraocular muscles to place uh, the null zone in a primary position, recessing of all four rectus muscles to decrease tension. All right, I think with this, we have come to the end of our talk on Nystagmus, still talking about nystagmus, infantile monocular pendula nystagmus, acquired nystagmus associated with poor vision, anterior segment, and nystagmus associated with uh, neurological diseases, all right? Different, different types of uh, nystagmus, all right? This is the patient down with nystagmus. 
Okay, look how the gaze. All right. See this. See that's examples of uh I think now we should talk about uh, saccadic intrusions, um, square waves, kecks, macro wave kecks, and uh, macro saccadic um, oscillations. And saccadic intrusions without a normal intersaccadic interval. And the ocular fluter uh, burst of small amplitude, uh, high frequencies, horizontal movement too. And we have the upsole clonus as a multi-directional eye movement and high frequency and high amplitude saccadic intrusions without normal intersaccadic interval we have ocular fluter opsoconus etiology where it originates from is mostly in is unknown in healthy individuals and omnipose and neurons of pawns neuroblastoma small cell carcinoma of lungs Cancer of the breast and ovaries, multiple sclerosis and brainstem encephalitis. Ocular bobbing. This is characterized by a rapid downward movement of both eyes, followed by a slow drift back to the midline. Causes uh, comatose uh, patients with massive pontine lesion. What about superior oblique myokymia? It defines a high frequency oblique oscillation of one eye due to intimate uh, firing of the superior oblique muscle. Now you can see this image right here shows uh, uh, an oblique uh, myokymia. All right. Superior oblique myokymia. I think I'll just move through this hand out slowly so that when you need to read, you could just check through. Now, what are the treatments? Non-surgical, non-neurological causes, optical um, devices, glasses, high minus lenses, and so on. Contact lenses too. Helpful in high refractive errors by giving a good visual stimulus for fusional control. Now, prisms are to induce a fusional convergence by using and seven PD base out prisms in front of each eye. This is the prismal uh, control of uh, myokymia. It's useful as a diagnostic trial, but as a therapeutic alternative are not helpful. Occlusion therapy. Trials with conventional occlusion have been found to be effective as amblyopia gets corrected and vision improves. And nystagmus uh, finally decreases. Pharmacological um, management. And the drugs hypothetically inhibit excitatory neurotransmitters within the CNS. I'll be following, guys. Pharmacology and denervation. Botulinum um, toxin A acts, it acts by blocking the neuromuscular and transmission. So on, surgical. Based on two principles, to shift the null point of any to the primary position, to reduce uh, the amplitude of the nystagmus by weakening the muscle force of all the recti. Kestenbaum surgery. Uh, device first surgical approach using recessive resection of all horizontal recti advocated an equal amount of 5 mm for all recti left face tone right eye and uh, lr resection mr resection the anderson surgery too the pax surgery could pause this video to read through okay and summary um nystagmus is slow uh devolving and drifts followed by rapid and corrective saccade eye movement physiological 
and childhood onset pathological abnormalities of cortical and subcortical and ocular and motor nuclei with vestibular nuclei and cerebellum inability to maintain fixation decreased fixation and oxylopsia and saccadic intrusions are uh, not uh, they are and uh, stigmamus with lack of slow component and rapid uh, deviating uh, drift with fixation intervals a uh, medical uh, optical and surgical management may be satisfactory in achieving the null point okay guys with this we have come to the end of our video series on the nystagmus and the saccadic intrusion uh, you guys just stick to our channel for more videos that will be incoming on next okay so this is the mbbs niger do uh, subscribe to our youtube channel like our video and um, share our videos to your friends so that they could subscribe to our youtube channel too so that we can move together as we move on bye for now guys